Okay, so here's a quick video on how to make your strawberry basil lemon detox water, okay? So, excuse the video, I gotta figure out how to make all this work, but I will, eventually. But it's not that important right now. So anyway, um, I already cleaned my fruit, so I have in this bowl, I want to wash it, my basil and my strawberries. And I'm gonna transfer it to this bowl while my water is preparing. Um, so you need one lemon, and then like a package of strawberries would be fine so you can have extra sweetness. I always like to take the end of my lemons off, slice them in pretty little slices, just like this. That wasn't pretty. So, one more. Excellent. All right, I'm going to drop that in my little bowl there. Then I'm gonna go through my strawberries and I like to take off the end, bam, bam. Nothing fancy, in, middle. Just like that. Almost there. Actually smells really good together already. Um, and you can put as many as you want. And I'm going to follow the same system. So I'm going to leave about five strawberries in there. Um, then I'm going to take my basil, which is here. It's kind of wet because of the fact that I washed it. Take the stems off. all the little stems off of it. Let's pull the leaves off the stem. And some of the stems are like small enough for you to leave on there. All right, so I'm gonna drop a few back in this bowl, which I'm gonna take the ends of those strawberries off for the diffuser, like just like we did the ginger water. Put a few in your diffuser. take a few put them in there and boil some maybe add a little bit more and I'm gonna put these into the boiling water so if you look at that you have your lemon you have your um, take a few lemons out I always like to keep a few out you have your lemon your basil and your strawberries so I'm gonna take you over there with me and excuse all of this so I have my water here let me show you that if you can see it there you go. I'm just going to add, there we go, add that to it. And then um, if you look, I already have my stuff set up for my straining system. I have my strainer over there and we're going to wait for the water to finish boiling. So just while we wait, um, just a few little things. You, you may not like basil. You may like mint instead in your strawberry water. That's fine. So it's up to you. So if you don't like basil, don't put basil in it. If you don't like strawberries, don't put strawberries in it. Do whatever you want. So the whole key to this is just finding ways to drink more water and making it fun and interesting and then making big bulk to hold you more accountable. So it's already accessible. It's there. You just fill up your container and go. Um, and you can make it every night or you can like I use the ginger water I use it for two days straight so now I'm making fresh water um, and then we'll just keep going just like that so I'll just use that same water again um, and we're just gonna wait for that to boil and go from there so once it starts boiling we will add it to our container and then go from there all right all right so the water is now boiling i'm gonna let you see it it smells great you can smell the basil in it it's starting to turn colors like the strawberries and we're going to turn it off because you just want to bring it to a boil 
and I'm gonna set this here so you can see me prep and what I use. Okay, so I'm gonna use a strainer, I'm gonna use this little cup and bowl so everything doesn't get everywhere. I'm gonna take the pot and I'm going to strain it right over this bowl. all of the strawberries and all that stuff in here. I'm gonna set that over here. And then I'm gonna take my water, pour it down in here. Remember this equals up to like three and a half cups is what I told you on the last video. I use this so I make a mess. Um, and then I just pour the rest of that in with the water that I already put into my um, little thing. Then I have my little thing here, the little strainer thing, and I'm going to add the strawberries and the lemon and all of that stuff in here. It is hot. Very hot. I'm actually going to get a spoon because it's hot. using a spin. Okay, so I'm just stuffing it all down in here so that we don't get all of that um, the lemons I can pick up. So you don't get all of that pulp in your spout. And then close it up. As you can see, it's still dripping a little bit of the juice out of the fruit which is a good thing this is why it lasts for about two days close it up really tight drop it down in there pull that drip juice that was there and then I am going to add the cold stuff to my water And you can leave some of it out if you want to. Um, I just like for it to look pretty at the top of the container. But because it's not boiled, it is not going to have all that pulp to get in there as fast as the other stuff. All right, we need to cut it down. And then we're going to fix, fix this a glass. So you can put you a little bit in there if you want to save and just have it in there. And I'm going to pour a glass. And bam, the water's still a little bit warm, but with ice, it tastes heavenly. It's great, very good flavor. Mm, I really like that. So it's not your typical plain water. It has jazz and class. So enjoy your basil, strawberry basil lemon water. I hope this video helped you. Remember, if you don't like something, don't do it. Just try different fruits. I like to boil it and then add it to the larger amount of water. And then I throw this whole thing in the fridge and I'm just have it right there accessible for me. All right, I'll see you in 15 days.